The IAEA held its 68th annual conference in Vienna this week. The meeting is the global forum for nuclear science, technology and innovation. The Director General outlined the scale of the agency's work as he opened the conference. When it comes to the role of the IEEA, it is in preventing the erosion of the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons regime that has underpinned peace and security conditions in the world. It is also um, important to make sure that nuclear safety and security prevail at times of war. It is also uh, trying to ensure that through the efficient application of science and technology through nuclear, we can um, diminish uh, poverty and difficulties around the world. The UN Secretary General, via his representative in Vienna, emphasized the importance of the agency's work on peace and security. As the guardian of the global nuclear safeguards regime, the agency's work is more vital than ever. I call on all states to support the agency's role in ensuring the strictly peaceful use of nuclear energy. The scientific forum is the main side event at the conference. This year it featured atoms for food. The agency's latest flagship initiative focuses on using nuclear techniques to improve the sustainability of agriculture while producing more food. Using radiation techniques in agriculture can control pests and diseases, increase crop production, protect land and water resources and ensure food security. The Atoms for Food initiative is very timely and can play a pivotal role in availing the much-needed transformational solutions in averting the growing food crisis. Events at the conference ranged from announcements of discoveries about microplastics in Antarctica to fresh agreements for the expansion of cancer care through the Rays of Hope initiative. Throughout the week, participants were kept busy with tours of IAEA labs, displays of individual countries' nuclear interests, and sharing experiences and expertise I'm here uh, interested by improving food safety and technology. My chief interest is nuclear applications and health. Cancer care and food and agriculture. Building and improving cooperation on nuclear safety and nuclear security. Radiation protection specifically in consumer products. Energy security, uh, lower emissions, because what we want is economic growth. Looking to the future, expectations for nuclear energy were high and the agency announced that global nuclear energy capacity is expected to increase two and a half times by 2050. From the front lines of war to the radiotherapy uh, units to the food and the protection of the environment uh, in all of these areas, this agency is and will continue to be at your service for the noble mission of keeping atoms for peace and development. Thank you very much.